Okay, it's time for the recap. We gave you seven points. I'm going to recap them here, and Rob and I are going to sort of hit a few shots. So uh, we've been through them in quite some detail, and I think it's things you and I would work on with our own game. It isn't just for our members. It's no sort of question across the about board it. Level this is of... great review for me. Uh, I love it, uh, and this is where you score. Yeah, no doubt this is where you score. You know, everybody says they want to score better, but we see a lot of them on the driving range and not enough of them around the chipping greens. Uh, it, there is no doubt in my mind, if you really want to lower your score, spend more time chipping and putting than you do hitting drivers and five woods, that's for sure. Okay, let's go through the seven key points. Number one, number one, first thing you always look at is the lie of the golf ball. That determines what's possible. If the ball is sitting down in a little hole like that, if it is, you have to hit a low shot, you have to finish. You cannot hit a high shot from there. So don't even try. The lie determines what's possible. You may not even be able to go at the pin. If you've got to try and go over a bunker and it's sitting in a hole, you may be best advised to play off to the side. Um, the second thing we said in that, that sort of opening piece that we did was that having a finesse grip, a feel grip was really important. Just recap Correct. that really quickly for so us. So feel grip, finesse grip. Gripping down, always control, unbelievable. That's what you want around the green for finesse. And quickly, I just keep my palms together. Martin had the T's between the, yeah. the forefinger and the thumbs. Love that too. And I make sure my thumbs end up down that center of that grip. Yeah, and that's something. I mean, and these, that's it. These are things before you can do, uh, before you swing. Now the second real point we made about before you swing is we said the way Ibis is situated, the clubhouse is about to the north and we're chipping about to the west mm -hmm. because of that. And I said, I always like when I'm chipping, I always like the chest to be to the west. I want the chest to be turned to the west, west when I'm set up. So just a little bit chest to the west so when I'm set up. what we did is here, and we went here. Yep, and just we turn here. a bit and put it down, chest down. to the west. The second thing we said, sorry, the third thing we said there was a little lean keeps it clean. Right. So we've turned the chest to the west, and then we're just going to lean on that front mm -hmm. foot just a little bit. That just helps pinch the ball. So let's hit one here, Rob. A little lean to the front foot, a little lean, it. keeps it clean. Yeah, very good contact again. Really good contact this morning. A uh, little lean keeps it clean. Our sort of number four rhyme was if the shot's a bit longer and you have right. to take a bit more back swing. Right. It was thumbs up, the ball will be by the cup. The thumbs cup. up by the cup. So I'm going to go this way real quick just to remind us about the thumbs up because the, the thing we know is most of the time when we're working on this with people is this is where they take that club. Very often Dangerous, they do. in trouble. So we want to make sure that the thumbs go up and it's going to feel more like it's... Vertical? Yeah, vertical. Yeah, so if there's any length to the stroke, if there's any carry, thumbs up and then it would by the cup. Thumbs, thumbs up, up by the cup. By the cup. And that puts us to the top of the swing, and this is one of my favorite little rhymes. I, I made this one up myself, I'm, dare I say, I'm, I'm actually- I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm rather proud of me too. Okay, uh, look, let the fall collect the ball yes. on yeah. the downswing. Let's say you, you know, you've been good, you've got the grip, you, you know, you've got the chest to the west, you're leaning left, thumbs up by the cup. When you're coming down, feel that the hands and arms in the club just fall mm -hmm. towards the ball. So mm -hmm. the club's accelerating, but under the force of gravity. Absolutely, under the force of gravity. And I think this is a great reminder. Oh, I mean, it's just terrific. Just put terrific. your arms out and, and whenever that. you're around the green, because tension sets in. Yes, it does. Let that happen. So let the fall collect the, the ball. ball. You just want the fall to collect the ball. You're not consciously trying to accelerate. So let's just hit one with okay. that, Rob. Let the fall collect the ball. Let the fall collect the ball. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Very, very good. I love it. I love it. Number love six. It. Be a busybody, not a statue. That's Be me. a busybody. I can do that very a well. A lot of, well, no, you do great. A lot of people try and stay too still when you're chipping. Actually, it's Correct. really important that the feet and the knees and the hips and the shoulders, there's some necessary yeah, motion in the feet, the knees, the hips, the shoulders. That's why I call it be a busybody, not mm -hmm. a statue. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I don't like the idea of staying still. So let's see you be a little busybody, a I busy beretti. Busy beretti. I always like let to take one practice. The feet and the knees and the hips move. Even with the shortest of shots, you need the feet and the knees and the hips to move. Beautifully done, Rob. Great. Putting on a clinic, go oh. in. <laughs> Nearly putting on a clinic. And that leaves us one thing, and it's the inspection section. And the inspection section is what happens after you've hit the ball. Now, as I glance from my teaching area over to here, we see a lot of people chip, and we know where we'd like people to finish. We'd like people to finish when they swing. 
where the shaft and the lead arm are about aligned. We'd like people to finish with the club head lower than the hands. Uh, we'd like people to have the lead arm fairly straight. So I call that the inspection section. And when you go through, after you've hit the shot, inspect it. Is the shaft in, lead with the, in line with the lead arm? Is the lead arm straight? Did it turn the body? All those points we made. You can learn so much from that. Uh, yeah, you know, what happens after the ball? Your intent to do something after contact will positively affect the contact. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not I that get the, that question all the time, Martin. Well, what does it matter? But it matters. Oh, it really matters. It really it matters because most people have got a better sense of feeling over here because the club's going slower. Uh, if you truly could feel and control impact, it wouldn't matter what you did after the photo, except it does. It does. Okay. All right. So let's have the inspection section. Okay. You hold the position. I'm going to come in and inspect Very good. that. There we go. Inspection section. I got it. Stay there. Shaft and lead arm in a line. Check. Lead arm straight. Check. Check. Body turn through. Check. Ball sitting by flagstick. Check, check, check. 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 <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed doing this with Robin. We all love Robin. We think the world of her because she is the best, no doubt about it. Um, if we can help you in any way with your short game or any part of your game, come and find us at the back of the Ranger Divers. We love teaching. We'd love to help you. And uh, if you choose to just work on your short game, at least take notice of these tips that we've given Absolutely. you. Absolutely. We'll see you out here soon. <laughs>